We have a bulletin just received. I've never encountered anything like this world. Student Solutions So in this project, the artist has created a face with different features that you can choose. And even though it's pretty simple, just add a mouth, a nose, and eyes. The artist has had to prepare every single possible combination that somebody might select. So you can see there's a lot of different images just to get to a simple three-step process. So let's hit play and take a look. So I'll start. Make your eye choice. Choose these eyes and they automatically drag on. So this artist has actually created some animation movements right inside of Keynote. I'll pick this nose and I'll pick this mouth. Is this your final? No. Try it again. Nose choice. Mouth choice. No. Yes. And notice I got a little reward there, a little hooray and a little animated movement. So like a game, it just gave me the feeling that I completed something, however silly. Okay, and there was a start over button there, so I get to go back to the beginning without exiting. So in this one, we're making a cake. Hitting play. Notice it has some audio with it. And you can drag simple audio files onto a slide, just like you would a movie or an image. Click here. What kind of cake would you like? Uh, chocolate? What kind of icing would you like? Strawberry would go. Yes, please. Pick a decoration. A gummy bear. Again, you got that little reward and the restart button so you can play again. Let's try it one more time. Strawberry? Chocolate. No. A party hat. Okay. Etc. And notice that for something so simple, He's had to create all the different options, and there are 86 different slides in this presentation. So it looks kind of effortless when you just choose things and they happen, right? But the artist has created 86 slides to make that experience happen with variations. Miso has created a portfolio of her work. In fact, you could think of this as a mock-up for a portfolio website. Let's hit play. Click. Let's see, what should I pick? I'll pick Korean Air. You can learn about this. And more for the presentation. I'll go pretty quickly. Storyboard. Concepts. Research.
features. And notice there's always a home button, so I can go home and go to another place. So it's pretty easy to navigate around. I'll just go really quickly. And you can see again the artist has quite a few slides, all of which are really impeccably designed. This one is an interactive movie. Let's hit the word play. It's kind of a Mortal Kombat thing. Do something or keep your head down and keep walking. I'll do the keep your head down first because everything else leads to uh, kind of the main part. Try again. So we lost. So do something. You got a problem? Let's do yes this time. Punch him. He has a problem. Notice it's it's from our point of view also. Here's block. Kick him. Okay, let's try one more time. So notice this is something that you're actually trying to win, like a video game. So it's sort of about bullying, but it's not done in a very serious way. It's done in a really video gamey uh, kind of way. Uh, rush him. So that's one reason these aren't shown publicly. Good job. So I actually navigated successfully through that and won, right? So this is one where just about everything that you do, I'll escape this time, uh, everything you do leads you to lose at some point, sooner or later, right? And there's one series of choices that you can make and you get a chance to try it again when you fail. Uh, and there's one series of choices that you can navigate through and, and actually win, right? And again, if you went through this several times, uh, you would have a different experience each time. And this one's sort of a research project turned into a game. If we hit play and then enter, choose your character. And these are all real people with their real history. I'll choose Kathleen Ward, known for drunkenness and indecent language. Congrats, your new name is Kathleen Wood, and you're a complete brat who enjoys thumbing your nose at authority. It's time to play the game of matching your fellow prisoners with their crimes. For every right answer, Kathy, you'll earn a less violent roommate, a bigger cell, and prizes. Take your time. Your life depends on it. And these were all created with invisible hotspots. Dorothy Mort was convicted of... Having the world's biggest nose, fatally shooting a lover three times in the chest. That must be it. That was easy. You narrowly escape joining Dorothy Mort in solitary confinement. Keep playing to win a less violent roommate, bigger cell size, and prizes. Gina Felina was convicted of posing as a man who lawfully marries a woman, murders her at a waterfront picnic, and then sets her body on fire. I guess I will have to go with that. You dodged a bullet with Eugenia. Or is it Eugene? She's way messed up. You've increased your cell size and earned a pack of cigarettes. I'm leveling up. 
Myrtle Lee was convicted of bludgeoning her digital synthesis instructor, uh-oh, stabbing her Chinese neighbor. Doing good. Continue. Ada and Hazel McGinnis were convicted of teaming as mother-daughter drug dealers. I did it. My cell is getting bigger and bigger. Jean Wilson was guilty of breaking entering and larceny. I'm doing well. Matilda Tilly Divine lost her freedom due to... I guess I'll go with all of the above. I did it. And the final question, Ruth Young was imprisoned due to multiple convictions. I guess I'll go here. Yay! So each step of the way got a little harder, and I kept leveling up by making multiple choices. And each of those choices, of course, was linked to an invisible hot spot, so it went to a different slide, and I won the game. So it was actually possible to win the game. And it was also something that conveyed information, actual learning, in a, uh, a playful way. So I'll pick somebody else. I won't go through the whole game again. But what happens if I actually uh, guess wrong, having the world's biggest nose? You're joining in solitary confinement. So I had a negative penalty for choosing the wrong thing, and I have to start over. 